Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to solve this differential equation. Firstly, I'm going to divide the entire equation by sine squared x. So, which means that we should have divide the x minus y divided by sine squared x. Recall that if we have 1 over sine squared x, this is equal to cosecant squared x. In other words, the second term can be written as cosecant squared x times y. And this is equal to cosecant squared x times tangent x. And this is in the form of dy dx plus px times y equal to qx where px is equal to negative cosecant squared x while qx is equal to cosecant squared x times tangent x and we can apply the integrating factor for this case so we let the integrating factor be equal to e to the power of integrate px with respect to x and this is equal to e to the power of integrate negative cosecant squared x with respect to x so which means that we should have e to the power of cotangent x since when we integrate negative cosecant squared x we should obtain cotangent x and we should not add constant c since this is just integrating factor next let's rewrite the equation recall that if we differentiate rho times y will rise back to x we should obtain rho times qx so which means that we just have to integrate both sides with respect to x so integrate differentiate cancel each other no more dx cancel with dx no more so the left hand side left only the integrating factor times y so which means that we have e to the power cotangent x times y and this is equal to integrate e to the power cotangent x times qx which is equal to cosecant squared x times tangent x with respect to x to integrate the right hand side i'm going to apply integration by substitution we can let u be equal to tangent x when we differentiate u with respect to x we obtain secant squared x which means that dx is equal to du divided by secant squared x. Let's substitute. We have integrate e to the power of cotangent x. Since cotangent x is equal to 1 over tangent x, which means that we have 1 over u. So for this case, we can substitute 1 over u and we times cosecant squared x times tangent x, which is u that we let and we times dx which is du over secant squared x and this is equal to integrate e to the power of 1 over u cosecant squared x divided by secant squared x which is cotangent squared x and we times u with respect to u and this is equal to integrate e to the power 1 over u cosecant squared x is equal to 1 over u squared and we times u so we left 1 over u and du so this is equal to integrate e to the power 1 over u times u with respect to u to solve for this integer i'm going to apply integration by substitution again so this time we can let v be equal to 1 over u so which means that u is equal to 1 over v when we differentiate v with respect to u we should obtain negative 1 over u squared or this is equal to negative v squared so which means that du is equal to negative 1 over v squared dv and now let's substitute into this integer we have integrate e to the power 1 over u divided by u times du is equal to integrate e to the power of v divided by 1 over v times negative 1 over v squared dv so we can simplify firstly i'm going to take out the negative integrate e to the power of v 1 over v cancel with 1 over v squared so we left 1 over v and we integrate with respect to v with this non-elementally integer where we integrate we should have negative remain and we obtain exponential integer with parameter v for this case and remember to add the constant c so this is equal to negative exponential integer v is equal to 1 over u while u is equal to tangent x so we have 1 over tangent x and we add constant c so this is equal to negative exponential integral 
cotangent x since 1 over tangent is equal to cotangent x. Now let's substitute back into the equation that we left just now. So which means that if we multiply the entire equation by e to the power negative cotangent x, and this we should obtain e to the power of cotangent x times e to the power negative cotangent x cancel each other no more. So the left hand side left only y. And this is equal to negative e to the power negative cotangent x times exponential integral with parameter cotangent x and we plus constant c times e to our negative cotangent x and hence we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you